Hey guys, this is Karthikeya Kantwal from Apex Finsaw and I'm back with your daily dose of charts for tomorrow's trading session. But before we move on to what's new, talking about today's trading session, uh, today was a good green trading session, especially for the indices. Uh, I told you aggressive shorts on Bank Nifty would be rewarding. And uh, to be honest, exactly at our zone, Subay trigger tha. And we ended up booking close to 400, 420. Uh, or if you round it off in uh, two trades, it was around 440 odd points. So it was a good green day for us and i hope the same goes for you as well even on the equity sides i believe we have two triggers uh, where one hit the target and the other one closed somewhere in the red and uh, the third one was almost triggered but it didn't now talking about what's new uh, the first equity trade that we have is jsw steel where we have a good breakdown established today and if you draw a trend line from here three points of interaction simple lower low lower eye structure as well so we are going to go for a shot at the nearest uh, demand turn supply zone at 340 stop loss at 344 ideal targets one person on the downside the second is sibla where we are going to go for a long because we have a fresh range breakout now we could have gone the aggressive approach and gone for a long at 743 but that's too close uh, to i believe the actual breakout that's happened and there's been a deep pullback as well so this is a conservative approach where we have a long plant at the bottom of the range at 735, stop loss at 725 and ideal targets 1% on the upside. Moving on to the third, that is Jubilant Foods, where again we have a long plant at 2575 because, uh, you know, good higher high, high low formation, we had a small pullback, a big breakout and we are going to take an entry somewhere close to 40 to 50% redressment at 2575. Stop loss at 2550, ideal targets 1% on the upside. The fourth is Bajaj Auto, where again we have a good breakout. We are going to go for a long position at 3050. It's a range breakout similar to Sibla's, but as you can see, here pullback is not deep. Nahi hai. So we are going for the ag aggressive entry at the upper ceiling of the breakout at 3050 itself. Stop loss at 3015. Ideal targets 1% on the upside. The final is Maruti, where we are going for a breakdown trade. If, if you are familiar with chart patterns, you can say that there is a pennant forming here. Now we're going to go for a downside break of that pennant because I don't really see any bullish sentiments on Maruti right now, especially as long as it stays on the 7000. So we're going to go for a short under 6940, stop loss at 7020, ideal lag is 1% on the downside. Now that marks the end of the equity watch list. Moving on to the indices, on uh, starting with Nifty as usual. Now, in both the indices, the structure that we had, the higher high, high low structure, that structure has uh, witnessed a, you know, slow in or, or uh, rather should I say a dulling momentum at this point of time, where the consistency in new swing highs being formed is not really visible. So, I would prefer to take longs only if the recent swing highs taken out, which is somewhere close to 12,970, 12,975. Uh, On the other hand, I would again go long. But uh, the aggressive entry would be for longs near 12, 880 or something like that. With my target being the upper zone, of course. But uh, to be honest, if you were to ask me what's a good trade on Nifty, I would suggest the first range that you have. Okay, you know, 12, 8, 7, 5, 12, 9, 7, 5. Avoid this 100 point range on Nifty. It's a breakout trade curve that should be really rewarding. About the option chain, you have immediate resistance at 13,000 with 227,000 added contracts. Significant at 13,100 with 556,000 added contracts. On the support side, you have 12,900 with 1 million added contracts. Significant at 12,800 with 388,000 added contracts. Now, 12,900 has seen a very hefty amount of puts being added. So, to be honest, that is a very, very strong support right now. As long as 12,900 is sustained, I guess it should be fairly possible for Nifty to break the swing high as well. But let's see. The PCR is on the complete opposite side though. At 1.05, it is extremely bearish. So it seems to be, uh, you know, somewhat of a buyers versus sellers kind of thing on the option chain for Nifty right now. Now, when you move on to Bank Nifty, we have uh, we have two zones, one at 29,400 and the other at 29,000. 400 points ka range for Bank Nifty is the critical range. I would prefer to take only range break of these zones. Within the range, to be honest, the stop loss is too large and the reward is too little. So I don't want, I don't feel uh, you know comfortable risking uh, my capital in such trades. So I prefer waiting. It's like a short under 28,900 and long above uh, 29,400 candle closing, of course. On the option chain side of things, you have resistance immediate at 29,300 with 120,000 added contracts. Significant at 29,500 with 347,000 added contracts. On the support side, you have 29,000 with 286,000 added contracts. 
significant 28500 with 250000 average contracts on bank nifty the option chain is a lot more balanced than nifty it's uh, it's pretty much neutral from the writer side even on the buyer side it is bearish the pcrv coming out to be at 0.9 but it's not as bearish as nifty which is at like 1.05 which is very very bearish so let's see both the index uh, indices you know as i said uh, range break rates only don't go for trades in the middle and uh, let's see the expiry right now i guess it can be range bound the charts are not indicating anything anyway let's see how it goes tomorrow now this marks the end of today's video guys i hope you had a good green trading session today if you want all the material that i discussed with you please check out our telegram channel at the rate apex finsa i upload everything there before the market opens so that you can use it to you know actually actually trade it by yourself don't forget to like share subscribe leave a nice comment and press that bell notification icon as well thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a wonderful trading session tomorrow and have a good night bye